Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 28th of March to the 3rd of April. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge is the Ten of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so Sagittarius, your challenge here for this coming week is the Ten of Cups. I do strongly feel with the Ten of Cups energy, you're looking for happiness, you're looking for love, you're looking for completion, you're looking for fulfillment. This may be something that's challenging for you at this time. We're going to clarify and see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I'm really strongly uh, seeing here, Sagittarius, there was a very big opportunity, okay? Life-changing opportunity that came into your life in the recent past. I do feel this situation brought a lot of happiness and fulfillment to you. You have the Six of Pentacles here as well, too. So I feel like someone here was really generous in the recent past, um, <clears throat> willing to give to this situation in the recent past. We're going to find out more when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. I do feel in the present moment for many of you, you are rushing towards, again, some sort of major opportunity that is coming into your life. Could be with a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. We're going to clarify and get more information on this for you in a moment. In the near future, you have the Lovers, the Eight of Swords, and the uh, the Hermit. Okay. So I feel like in the near future with the hermit here, there's a lot of thinking. Someone is kind of like overthinking a relationship connection here. Uh, do they want to be in this? Do they not want to be in this? There could even be a feeling of feeling somewhat restrained here in a relationship. We're going to find out why in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess, king of wands, knight of cups, ace of cups, Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? For many of you, there is someone who is coming back to you. Could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm also getting very strongly here that there was some sort of ending that happened between you and a specific person. Could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I am strongly getting that even though this situation did come to an end, there has been some sort of blockage when it comes to, you know, your love life. Okay. Now this blockage that's happening when it comes to your love life may be happening because of something here from the past that you haven't completely released, especially if it is someone who keeps coming back all the time. Um, what you don't see coming Sagittarius is that, you know, for many of you, you, you know, either you're going to withdraw from this person who's been on and off with you, who hasn't been stable or who you've actually ended things with, or it could be the fact that a lot of you aren't listening to your intuition and your intuition is clearly telling you whether or not you should remain in the situation or not. But either way, there's something here that is not fulfilling for you. And of course, it's not going to resonate with everyone. But if you are in a situation where you find it isn't fulfilling, then you may need to release it in order to find this true happiness that you're seeking, which is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge. So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups of Justice and the Death. Okay, so your biggest challenge here is about you deciding to move towards new love. Okay, Ace of Cups is here with the death. So for many of you, your biggest challenge here is maybe to end something that you know is not good for you in order to bring about new love. Now, again, a lot of you are going to be on different paths when it comes to your um, love life and your goals. I'm getting here. Your biggest challenge has a lot to do with new love that is coming in, but something here has to come to an end first. 
something here has to come to an end first in order for you to make it right and, and be open to new love. And that's your biggest challenge. Some of you may not admit that something here needs to transform or change within your life, either within your life or within um, some sort of ending. You need to maybe set something right here in order to accept new love because new love is coming in or an opportunity with new love is coming in, but something here has to transform and change. Okay, and that's your challenge and you know what that change is. It's gonna be different for everyone. All right, so let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Two of Cups, the Hangman and the Ten of Cups. Interesting. So for many of you in the recent past, I do feel there was a very strong opportunity to have a relationship here. You have the two of cups. So you may have met somebody, may have connected with someone, and you may have said, you know what? I see myself with this person. I really do. And for many of you, this opportunity that came in the recent past really brought you a lot of happiness. However, even though this opportunity did come in Sagittarius, I do feel very strongly that there was some sort of delay or there was a lack of action being taken from one of you, either you or your person. Okay, so there could have been a lot of waiting, a very, very strong energy here of waiting, waiting to be happy, waiting to feel fulfilled. I am also getting um, as well too in the recent past Sagittarius that you could have been giving a lot to the connection and this person wasn't giving enough back to you in the past or vice versa. Someone here was giving a lot more to the connection than the other person. And that's why there may have been some sort of delay here in the recent past when it came to this connection. Now in the present moment, I do see someone here really loves you. Okay. There's a very strong connection with this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, maybe another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Now, even though this opportunity um, or this person has a lot of love for you, there is an opportunity here that is attached to this situation. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups in the present moment. Who is this person in the present moment? Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio in the present moment. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the devil. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment. So whoever this person is in the present moment, they are someone who is not that healthy for you, okay? And again, this is not gonna resonate with everyone. It's for those who really need the reading. So I'm really strongly getting Sagittarius that this new beginning, this opportunity that is coming in, it looks like a very good one. However, there's also something here that you're not realizing, okay, about this person. I am seeing for many of you, you're dealing with someone who's overly emotional, but they're also very toxic. You have the devil here in the present moment. Um, but the reason why maybe you stick around or you're in this situation is because of the opportunity that is attached to the situation. However, your actions, and I feel like the Knight of Wands is you, I feel like with your actions, you're very on and off with this person. And that's why the challenge here is the Ten of Cups to, to have that fulfillment and happiness to find that. Tell me more about this opportunity that's coming in for Sagittarius in the present moment. There's definitely a very big opportunity that is coming in for you. Um, I do feel like this has an, uh, a lot to do with a relationship that may be moving to the next level. For others of you, this is about options. You have a lot of options, you have a lot of choices, and you have to choose, Sagittarius, which option and choice is best for you. I do feel someone here wants to um, solidify their relationship with you. They want to move to the next level, but something here, again, is delayed. And the reason why I feel like this situation is delayed is because in the past, similarly, you have the hangman in the recent past, which is indicating to me that something here that seemed very opportunistic, there was a very um, strong energy here of love, wanting to be together, something here didn't move maybe as you wanted it to because one of you, either you or your person, wasn't taking action. Somebody here was over giving in the past while the other person wasn't giving much. And I feel like in the present moment, there's still someone here 
uh, some of you are dealing with water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this person comes across as keeping their options open. Okay. And this is why there's been, again, a lot of waiting and there still is waiting in the present moment. And that's why a lot of you are in and out or on and off with this person. What's the important message here for Sagittarius in the present moment? All right, so the Knight of Wands is clarified by the star, the tower, and the strength. Here's the thing, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to say this, and you may not like what I'm about to say to you, but you all know I keep it real on the channel. I don't have a reason to sugarcoat anything here, okay? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel for many of you there is a tower moment that is either happening in the present moment or will happen. And the reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of you are thinking about your future. The star, okay? This is you, the star here. You're thinking about your future. You're thinking about what you want. And I think right now, something here has really been bugging you, bothering you. And you know that something here is not stable. It's not healthy. It's not good for you. And this is why you've been on and off or in and out of a situation. There's been a lack of stability. So even though there's a major opportunity in the present moment, there's something in your life about needing to talk about the future, getting to the bottom of something, you know, being honest with yourself and... This is about you getting back to this place, Sagittarius, of feeling strength within you. So you have the strength card here and your challenge is the 10 of uh, cups. So you want this happiness. You want this new beginning. You see the opportunity, but you also have to recognize the transformation that needs to happen within you. And some of you are working on creating a transition for yourself, um, which means, you know, ending one thing, moving towards something new, changing maybe your habits, the way you do things. And there's something here that you have to realize about this person. So there's talks right now in the present moment. Well, what about the future? What about this? What about that? What about our relationship? And you keep running from something. So spirit right now is saying in the present moment that in order for this opportunity to be taken advantage of, and not miss an opportunity, there's a need for you to confront something here that you know is changing or breaking down presently in your life. And that's what I feel like is happening right now in the present moment, okay? So let's talk about the near future. Now the near future, Sagittarius, gets really interesting because you have the lovers. So what this is indicating to me with the lovers is that you are either going to meet a soulmate, you're going to connect with someone here who is a soulmate in the near future. However, attached to this relationship is the eight of swords and someone here feels stuck in a relationship and they're also overthinking this relationship. Is this what I truly want? Is this who I want to be with? So let's clarify the uh, eight of swords and let's see why this energy is here. Why is there an energy here of feeling stuck, feeling Kind of in this place of isolation is what I'm getting here with the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So I'm really strongly getting for many of you, some of you are going to end up being with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, possibly an Aries here or a Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like for many of you, even though this relationship brings you a lot of stability, you also have to be consciously aware of your mental health. You have to consciously be aware of taking time out for yourself to be on your own. Because here's the thing, Sagittarius, the thing with Sagittarius, the sign of Sagittarius, is that Sagittarius tend to be, you know, people that they like their freedom. They don't like to feel bogged down. They don't like to feel like they're with someone who's overbearing. So even though this relationship looks really promising and it looks like a relationship that's going to bring you 
um, a lot of stability, there's also the possibility of feeling stuck within a relationship. And spirit is telling you in order to avoid that type of energy in the near future, you also have to make time for yourself. You also have to, you know, be open to taking time and disconnecting. Your partner is your partner, but it isn't everything. Okay. You also have to be an individual as well too. So I do see a lot of you disconnecting in the near future and it's not a bad thing you're just disconnecting for your own mental health for your own well-being is what i'm seeing and that's actually what's going to preserve this relationship that you have what is the important message here for sagittarius about this relationship what's the important message So the lovers is clarified by the Hierophant, the Empress, and the Page of Cups. I do feel if you've had issues within your relationship, in the near future, there is going to be understanding, an apology, acceptance. And one of the things that's really beautiful here, Sagittarius, is, is that even if you don't have a relationship, I see you meeting someone here in the near future that's really someone that you can grow with that you can learn from. Some of you are going to have children in the near future and get married. Hierophant and the Empress side by side. And someone here is offering you love. Okay. I'm getting a very strong energy here from maybe a Taurus. I'm getting a Libra, possibly a water sign Pisces or an air sign Gemini. So there's somebody here that wants to offer you love in the near future. And for others of you, there's something here about coming to this place within your relationship where you're connecting with this person because there's a lot of understanding. And that's something that, you know, a lot of people are looking for in their relationships. They want to connect with someone who's understanding. And that's what helps grow this relationship. So I do see you kind of stepping um, stepping back from this relationship in the near future, but it's really to just get clear on what it is that you want. And I think one of the things that I see that you really want is the Ten of Cups. You want to be happy. And that's where you're headed. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. So the advice for you, Sagittarius, is the Six of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Emperor. So your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to get very clear on what it is that you want in your life. What is it that you want in your life? What is going to make you happy? What is going to bring success to your life? Spirit is saying your biggest piece of advice here is not just to run and try to accomplish or achieve something. You also have to have stability and structure within yourself and use the wisdom that you've learned up until this point based on your past experience. It's one thing to want success and want to be acknowledged for your accomplishments, but that requires stability and structure. One of the things that you may not know, Sagittarius, is, is that as you go on and progress in your life, you are progressing and moving into a Capricorn. Okay, all signs progress into the following sign after them, which is somewhat of an astrology lesson. But overall, the message here is, is that you're progressing into a stable, solid person. And that's going to require you to have discipline, structure, and responsibility, which ultimately is going to lead to your success in whatever it is that you want. In order for you to get to this place of success, instead of rushing and not thinking and doing things without thinking, you need to have the emperor-like quality, which means stability, structure, and wisdom and therefore apply it to your life to get to exactly where you want to get to, which is success and happiness. Okay. So Sagittarius is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.